Hi, Shiva here. Happy Monday. Good to be back again with another Monday motivational story. Are you ready? Let's go. This time too, the story is from Ramayana and that too from Aranyavasa. You know, that was a time when Rama was living with Sita and Lakshmana in the forest. One day, they received the news that Rama's father, King Dasharatha, had passed away. So they had to perform a Shraddha ceremony. And to perform that ceremony, they required some ingredients, some materials. So Rama sent Lakshmana to the nearby town to fetch those materials. And it's quite some time that Lakshmana went but did not return. So Rama went looking for Lakshmana and also bring those materials because that ceremony should be performed by noon. But even Rama was not returning soon and the noon was fast approaching. So Sita decided to perform the ceremony by herself. So she had her bath in the river Falgu, lit that earthen lamp and cooked food and was ready for the offerings. So she offered to the deceased and suddenly to her surprise a voice came from the sky saying that Sita we received your offerings thank you you are blessed amazed at the voice coming from the air Sita looked around and there was no one and she said who are you then the voice responded, saying that, I am your father-in-law, King Dasharatha. Thank you for the offerings. God bless you. Is that really true? If Rama and Lakshmana ask me, is it really true whether you came and received the offerings, how can I convince them? Then Dasharatha said, not to worry. You had four witnesses. One was the river Falgu, which was flowing next to the hermitage where they were living and another is the cow which was standing there in front of the hermitage and the third witness was the fire which Sita Devi lit and the fourth one is the Ketaki plant bush which was also there near the hermitage. So these are the four witnesses you don't have to worry if they didn't believe you can ask these people these four things to give you the witness. Right? In the meantime, Rama and Lakshmana arrived in a hurry and Rama said, Sita, come on, get the things ready uh, so that we go ahead and perform the ceremony. Sita responded saying that, uh, I had already performed the puja. I offered and uh, the offerings were received and I was blessed. Rama couldn't believe it. What are you saying? Is that true? She said, yes. If you want, I have the witnesses. So she called the four witnesses and asked them to give the witness. And all of them said they didn't see anything like that happening. So Sita was disappointed. Sita could not prove that she had offered. And Rama went ahead and made his offerings. When Rama made the offerings, a response came from the sky. Rama, why are you doing this again? We have received it. Sita had already offered and we received it. You don't have to give it again. Rama said, no, that couldn't be true. Yes, that is true. If you want a proof, ask the Son God, who was the real witness for this event. When Rama asked, Son God confirmed. And Rama and Lakshmana felt very bad that they doubted Sita and they didn't accept what she said. 
and they appreciated of course her virtue her virtue of taking the responsibility and performing the ceremony in time the story goes that sita became angry and then you know she curses those four witnesses for not being the witness and giving the correct information that she cursed the a river falgu that from then onwards the river would flow only under the ground not above the ground and that she cursed the the fire that it would consume indiscriminately whatever that goes into it that's what happens right and again she cursed the the cow that uh, its mouth would always be impure and the ketake bush was cursed that its flower would never be accepted for worshiping lord shiva right but what is that from this whole incident in ramayana that we could pick see the could have simply sat there waiting for rama and lakshmana to come on to the puja which she didn't do she didn't keep quiet she took the responsibility she jumped into the action there was a small action it was an honest sincere with a good intent that the ceremony should be performed by noon as per the custom and she did it so any action however small it is with a good intent when done that should be appreciated so during these corona times when everybody is locked down in their homes with kith and kin with elderly people and youngsters what are the small actions that you could do in your home so that people would be happier can you give a patient to you and listen to what they say can you say a pleasing word how can you give a gentle touch which makes them feel happy what are those small little things that you think you can do at your home in these days they would go a long way in building a happy family and what is the other thing that we could learn from this story what happened to those four things they were very much there but they didn't pay attention to what's going around so it's important to be observant and to pay attention to things that are happening we don't have to look for the big things happening to make observations it's the small observations and appreciating them and enjoying those experiences makes what life is beautiful make your life beautiful do the small things think about what are the small things that you would like to do today in your home that will make your family members happier think about it and be observant and feel the bliss of observing things the small things the wonders that god has gifted us with thank you very much thank you for listening to the story have a great week ahead and uh, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon so that whenever i post anything on youtube you would get notified and you don't miss the opportunity of seeing them take good care remember you are awesome bye